welcome to this mathematics class. Uh, this is going to be a class for Form 2 Mathematics. Uh, form 2 Mathematics. And in this particular one, we are moving on from our first uh, video where we looked at um, the first theorem as concerns the angle properties of a circle. <clears throat> Today we want to look at another theorem, the relationship between the angle subtended, subtended at the center by a chord. And this time let's pick a chord here. Let's pick a point here and call it A and uh, another point there B. Better still, we could have um, used the radius, the radius we, we, we had here, this one, okay, as a radius, we, we step this distance on the circumference, like that, and this becomes uh, This point here becomes our B, this one. The, the one we have marked using the radius. You see, the goodness with that is that the angle that we are going to get at the center is already known, is going to be 60. Maybe you can also do the same in your book. You draw a circle, let's say radius five, like the one I've drawn here. Then using the same radius, uh, step that distance on the circumference to create uh, a chord. Uh, I have the chord myself, I have the chord AB. Sometimes we say the angle is subtended by the arc AB at the center. So today we want to look at the angle at the center, the relationship between the angle and uh, the center. The angle subtended at the center by a chord AB. We want to see the relationship between that angle, the angle subtended at the center, say this one, the chord AB subtends angle AOB at the center. And you see there are two angles, there is this one, and we can call that one, um, let's call it X, and we also have the other one uh, on the other side, but now the angle remaining here is subtended by the other arc at the center. <clears throat> so the one we are thinking about right now <coughs> is the angle subtended by the arc AB, or we could say the chord AB, this is the chord, oh, that's the chord AB, the, the chord subtends the, the angle, the one we have just indicated, we have said the arc, this arc subtends that angle at the center. And we could also talk in terms of the, the chord. And uh, we have the chord. A, B, this one, subtending the angle there at the center. I'd like you to do the same in your book. Let's draw a circle, radius 5. Um, using the same radius, mark this arc and this arc on the circumference. That ensures that the angle we have at the center is 60. Then, make that chord to subtend an angle on the circumference. Actually, let it subtend two angles, or even three, on the circumference. Just like this. Okay. So we have made the chord AB to subtend the angle APB 
on the circumference, you can call that angle uh, y. We can make the same code to subtend some other angle on the circumference so that whatever we are going to find out, we will be able to confirm. Okay. So there we are. We can call this one uh, A W B. So we have the angle A O B, and we have the angle A P B, and the angle um, A W B. Now, last time we found that angles subtended by the same chord on the same part of the circumference are equal. So we already know that this angle is y from our past uh, lesson. But now today we want to find the connection, the relationship between AOB and APB. And that is for you now to measure. Now, if you measure accurately, you measure the angle uh, y and you measure the angle x, you should find out that angle y equals 30 degrees if you follow the steps that I gave and the angle x 60. In other words, angle, angle at the center, we're seeing the angle at the center uh, equals two times the angle at the circumference. So the theorem in this case is that the angle subtended by a chord at the center is always twice the angle subtended at the circumference by the same chord. So in this case, we looked at the arc AB or the chord AB here. The angle subtended at the center, you can see that this one subtends this angle at the center and this angle at the circumference also this angle at the circumference. From our previous uh, discussion, we know that this angle and this one are equal because they are subtended by the same chord, the same part of the circumference. Now we would like to look at the other part we discussed last time. We said the same chord can subtend on uh, angles on the other side. So let's look at that now. Well, let, let's have a chord. Yeah. Here's an, another chord. It's a different one. Already here we've noted that um, angle A or B is equal to two times angle A, B, B. Very important. The angle at the center equals two times the angle at the circumference. Now, the same can be done when the chord subtends an angle on this side, like that, this angle. If this angle is y, you will find that the angle at this point is also 2y. So in this case, the angle y is subtended by the major arc. And uh, so the major arc subtends 2y at the center and y at the circumference. The same thing, only that this time now we are thinking of the, the major arc. This, the angle in this case was subtended by the minor arc on the circumference. In this case, it's subtended by the major arc, that's angle y, and uh, 2y will now be this angle. So we can apply that in uh, answering some questions. Uh, in the interest of time, let me do this freehand so that we have A there, B here. This is the chord AB. Uh, we are being asked to find, suppose, suppose, suppose we have that angle there. We have this one as uh, 30 degrees. What will that angle be? So here we are being asked to find Y. From our theorem, the angle at the center 
subtended by given chord. At the center, you are told that O is the center of the circle. And then you are being asked to find Y. Uh, we have already said our theorem is that the angle subtended by a chord at the center is two times the angle subtended by the same chord uh, on the circumference. Therefore, in this case, we get um, the solution is that y equals 2 times 30, which is 60 degrees. Now, for your homework, uh, find out uh, if this angle here is 150, what, what will this angle be? Let's call it Q. So in this case, we are saying find Q. We are going to stop there. But remember that the angle subtended at the center is always twice the angle subtended at the circumference. The, you need to de decide whether the angle you are looking at is subtended by the major arc or is subtended by the minor arc. Although the, the chord is the same, but you need to find out which is which. And that will help you find, for example, in this case, you are required to find Q and the angle, the angle given here, clearly it is subtended by the major arc. So we stop there. And for me it's uh, bye for now, until we meet in the next lesson, where we are going to look at um, another theorem. Remember to subscribe so that uh, we can continue discussing this uh, together.